where he'll follow through with his threat to arm our slaves and put this city to the torch if he's threatened to the We should be
beloved Virginia, I ask your prayers for our success. And you will have them. Have them sir. God save Virginia. God save Virginia. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Minister. Sir. Members of the Williamsburg Volunteers, we are sworn to protect all citizens by our lives and our swords. Well, Mr. Speaker, we have just been informed that Lord Dunmore should detain you if you would attempt to attend the Grand Congress. Well, Mr. Speaker, you, sir, are the first amongst us. And as Captain of the Volunteers, I humbly request that we be allowed to escort you, sir. And at least so far as, as the Maryland line, to ensure that Lord Dunbar is not successful in his attempts. Captain Innes, on behalf of those who write with me, and for myself, I will accept this escort. I thank you, sir. Your humble servant. Gentlemen, could you attend me? Sir. Yes, yes sir. I'll send you. Monroe! I want you and all the other members of the Williamsburg Volunteers to go home and make ready. Each man of you is to bring with him sufficient powder, provisions, and shot for a one-week march. And I want all you new recruits to make certain that you put a fine edge on your tomahawks so you can shave with them. All members of the Williamsburg Volunteers, and any man who is willing to fight for the cause of America, you will report to me at 6 of the clock on the morrow at the courthouse. May God save Virginia! God save Virginia!